Hey, what's happening YouTube? Happy Monday, and I hope your week is off to a fantastic start. Once again, my name is Keith McElwain, and welcome back to Monday in the Millions. Where is my mind? Hot Topics will be right across the bottom. Go ahead and click the annotation if you want to jump to that story. Otherwise, we're going to start off with the hottest trends in politics and what's relevant to our 2012 election and the future of our world. We saw President Obama and Mitt Romney go into one of the most intense presidential debates last week at Hofstra University here on Long Island with over 65.6 million viewers watching. And the battle continued on YouTube with over 14 million views in less than seven days on the presidential election 2012's epic rap battle. See the silver spoon, this the mass out of debt. Took you four years to drop unemployment down below 8%. You feel that, Barry? Your old dudes, everyone's having doubts. And your rhymes are as weak as this economy that you've done nothing about. Call me a vicious businessman, cause Romney's stealing this race. I'll go bank capital on your donkey ass, restructure your fate. Republicans need a puppet and you fed. Got their hands so far up your rear, call you mate. I'm the head of state, you're like a head of cabbage. About to get smacked by my stimulus package. And my favorite part was when Abraham Lincoln flew in on the bald eagle and spit some freedom fire and told both candidates how it really is. I have the power invested in me by the giant bald bird. The president shall not be the shiniest of two turns. Do I want to like you? Don't talk about change to do it. I fuck who was on my brain. I tell you, I'm it. And with less than two weeks left to the presidential election, both candidates are diving in and looking to spend as much money as possible to sway public opinion. And Barack Obama launched an attack campaign on Mitt Romney on YouTube, which has failed miserably with only 80,000 views over a two week period. Whereas on Twitter, there's been over 20 million tweets about Obama and Romney over the last 30 days where Romney has been in the lead of most tweets. And some of the other top trending tweets are Big Bird with over 400,000 tweets. We have Healthcare with over 389,000 tweets. Coming in at number one, 692,000 tweets for the economic issues. And then we have the overnight sensation Binders Full of Women that racked in over 328,000 tweets within the last week and generated over 350,000 likes on their Facebook page. I went to a number of women's groups and said, can you help us find folks? And they brought us whole binders full of, uh, of women. On top of the record-breaking tweets that we saw last week, we've also seen some hilarious fan-generated satire around the Google search results of the governor and the president. So here's what we found in Romney's Google history. Can poor people vote? What are the answers to the question for the next debate? A poor coughed on me. Can I catch it? And the Michelle Obama nip slip. And the top Google searches for President Obama Teleprompter repairman, how much is a trillion dollars? What is the definition of change? And do they make electric dog collars for vice presidents? In other news, we saw a 43 year old jump from the edge of the atmosphere down to the ground of the earth, breaking the sound barrier. Also breaking the record for the most amount of views on a live streaming program on YouTube with 8 million viewers. And in the celeb gossip, we have Fat Joe that's joined the 100 million people of the Instagram community. He has recently created the song Instagram That Ho with Rick Ross. Instagram that ho, that ho, Instagram that ho. Thank you very much, Fat Joe. You are the photographer for the masses and an appreciator of the asses. In relevant news for money and influence, Maker Studios just passed Machinima as number one independent YouTube network today. If we all remember, Machinima just got a recent investment from Google for $35 million for just less than 20% of the company, putting the company at over $200 million worth, which means Maker Studios is growing in leaps and bounds. And this is all in spite of Maker Studios losing Ray William Johnson, the number one most subscribed and most viewed channel on YouTube. And according to New Media Rockstars, Ray William Johnson will remain a part of the Maker Network but will go back to producing the show on his own, on his own time, in his apartment, like he did when he started. And since Ray William Johnson has gone back to independently producing his own videos, all his fans have suggested that he open his own network and invite other YouTubers to join, but only time will tell. And that's everything that's exciting and influential today. Once again, my name is Keith McElwain, and if you like the show, click the like below to let me know, and make sure to subscribe to be back next week for Monday in the Millions. I'll see you next week. He's actually turned this into a song where we got Instagram hoes.